Chris, first of all, huge news. Football and volleyball will be allowed to practice this fall, but the teams will not be able to start their seasons until spring. And that is expected to run March through May. However, it is going to happen with fewer games, so they're reducing the season. Also, it's unclear if fans will be able to attend or what that will look like. Now, the sports that are starting this fall include tennis and swimming and diving for girls and soccer and cross country for girls and boys. Also, sports that are typically held in the spring are now pushed to the summer. And of course, re reactions to all of these major changes are flooding in. There's part of me that really wanted it to go forward, but then, you know, there's also the other side where you don't want anybody to get really sick. I was in contact with a couple colleges, and they all said the same thing. They said, we're really looking forward to your senior year. When I started getting that news that it might not happen, I was getting kind of nervous. I'm just thankful that I get to play. These changes not only affect the athletes and their families and the, possibly those college scholarship opportunities, but also if you think about the revenue that uh, high schools would get from ticket and concession sales, uh, there's cheerleading and band that would be impacted. So really a wide impact, Chris, affecting so many people. Uh, a lot of changes a lot of students will have to get used to and teachers, coaches and administrators as well. Thanks, Kaya.